Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Code Prime. This is our last video about the CSS basic tutorial series we have started around one month ago. So today we are going to discussing about this the CSS root property and variable. So inside of the CSS root property, we have this file of this root file where we, we can set some value and it will be index of our value that we are going to making this. So this value will be stored by this root file and we are going to visible by this or accessing of our root file values by using that our variable and we can use variable x x will be the root access file so here we will some write some value inside of this root so this will be accessed by the variable and we are going to display that the variable by using variable that this root file of this property that what we are going to using so let's start this video right now here here you can see i've opened my vs code studio and here you can see i've added some basic html file and there I have added a title that is root and variable CSS by code prime. And there is I have write some basic CSS for the centering a div and a background linear gradient color. Now we are going to watching this live preview on our browser as you can see we are opening here. So this is the live preview on our this code we have made this basic code. So this is the linear gradient color and this we have this skin and this whatever we are going to writing inside of this body tag. So this all item will be goes through in the center and it will be by column versus. So here now we are going to add some button and some paragraph text also here. So let me add it. Okay, now here you can see I've added a paragraph tag and some of this four BTN here. And I have handled this CSS and I have made them this all of this BTN. I have added the defined this unique classes here. And this unique classes I have just writing this all of all this CSS and again and again. So now you can see it was going is looking like this. You can see the live variable. But here now we are going to using that this root variable. We are going to using that variable and we are going to using this variable. This all available will be changed using that variable. So first of all we need to store them some file using as a root variable. So for storing some file we need to add this clone of this pseudo classes and then root. And after rooting here and then we need to open the curly braces. Now here we need to write the variable. So here I'm writing this variable for this double dot. So here I'm writing this basic color. So it means the background color. So it is I'm going to making red. And then I'm going to make it another thing that is color about the text color so it is so this is i'm just calling taking this as just a variable so the text color i'm just going to take it this it will be ff this is color and then we're going to writing the font size so this is all i'm taking this all is a variable so here i'm writing this font size it is 2rem now after writing this font size to rem and let's me add another one that is padding also so you can take any available your property about whatever you are going to take in this this is all simply variable so here i is just taking it for if we take this font sizes so i'm just taking it simply this text size so that you can understand so that you will be never doubt about this font size it was the same so i'm writing this text size but i will use this for this font sizes so here I'm writing this padding. So padding I'm writing simply that pad. Pad here I'm just going to writing this 10 pixel. And save this file. So this is our actually we have added this. This is our root. And here we have added some variable. So now we're going to accessing this variable. So yeah, this is our variable for this the background color. So we are just going to taking this copy. For the background this is basic color. This is background. So here first of all we're going to changing this the paragraph text color. So there is we have the variable the background color of this tag. so now we just need to remove this color here now here we need to type here this bar and open parenthesis then double space of this double hyphen then how we have already copied so we don't need to write it so here i'm just pasting that this we have copied this basic color from here now save this file and you can see it was reflected simply there from here this is the background was dead so now I'm just going to making this the same. So I'm just copying this one. 
so i'm just making to going to this background for this all of this button and element so but this variable of root is very easy to use that whenever you are going to making so a lot of big project and anything else so there's you need to changing color or anything else you need to change by one by one you need to find this all of this file location but this is very one easy to whenever you have set a variable path so then you can change this from this one places and it will be change the color from this all of the places here so i'm taking just taking here the variable background for this all item and save this file so you can see this all over going to the background is variable dead so now if your client or anything else you want to make some this color of your you want to change this from this all of this background color you want to change it so whenever you are going to using the simple basic css so that's you need to find this all of this button css and you need to change the color one by one but this is a very easy option to using that variable so here we have already collected and we have set that variable so now we just need to change this background color on our root file so now if we make it that blue color and save this file you can see the background is become blue now we're going to using some another one thing that is the text color so i'm just taking it so that it can be brightly and we can read this text early so here i'm just going to inside of this there is color property of this button and i'm just okay i need to remove it so first of all i need to add the variable and then paste it now i'm just copying this line of css and pasting it all over where we have the color there's also it and there's one there's one also and pasting it and for this p tag also i'm just going to there is no color we have added but we are going to add another one now save this file and you can see all over the properties color was changes now if you simply if you want to color changes for the fonts color so you can simply just go to back from here and you can simply i'm writing this red and this color was red so this way you can use your root file of the variable accessing and you can make it this all of this about this font sizes for this so here i'm just taking this one for this we have said this font size is 2 rem so i'm just setting for this p tag now back to here and this is our font sizes i have set it by default there is one rem so i'm just making it variable and inside of this this text sizes save this file you can see that font size was increased from here so this way you can use that font size increasing so button also you can use that same way like this one so i just copying this here so that i'm not going to writing any more again here so here this the between one and save this now you can see it was going this okay i have copied this text color font sizes not this so i need to copy this one font sizes and back to here now this is our font size and paste it now save this file and you can see it was 2 rem by default as it have but i'm going to changing this font size right now so we are going to changing from our root file and here i'm just going to make it 5 rem and save this you can see the text was going bigger and our btn text also should be bigger there you can see btn text it's also bigger so here if we make it little bit of a smaller so it can be visible easily and you can see look like this so this way you can access your root file there you can store off your css data whatever you want to controlling this one sentence it will be changed and implement all of your website and all of the pages where you have this same variable in your css so then it will be changed this all over property and elements that whatever you are going to changing in your root file in variable so there whenever you are going to change any value it will be changed this all over the option that where you have collected that connected using that variable like this so this is the total variable and stored file accessing tutorial so if you need any question about it you can give me on the comment section below and with this video we are going to end of this the css basic tutorial series so if you still need any inquiry about or anything else you want to know about the css tutorial or if i miss any something so you can give me on the comment section below and if you need something else or if you need something help anything about this css tutorial you can also give me on the comment section also you'll find my telegram contacts and my whatsapp contact details not whatsapp is you'll find my social contact details you can also follow me there also you'll find my mail contact also if you need to contact directly you can make contact my mail we can talk about that whatsapp or telegram or any further the contact where it can be possible so we can contact with them live that way so this is the total of tutorial about the css so i hope you enjoy this video and if you understand that everything so please like on this video and share it with your friends and please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any updated